द मराठा रूलर्स ऑफ थंजावूर In this module you will learn about the various Maratha kings that ruled the ancient city of Thanjavur from 1676 to 1856 AD. The ancient city of Thanjavur or Tanjore was under the rule of the Chola dynasty. After the decline of the Chola rule, Thanjavur was ruled by the Pandyas for about a century. It was later conquered by the Vijayanagar Empire. and finally by the nayaks of madurai whose rule lasted up to 1673 chokannath nayak of madurai invaded and captured thanjavur and appointed his half brother alagiri as the governor of thanjavur however alagiri quarreled with chokannath and sought the help of the sultan of bijapur to appoint sengamal das as the nayak of thanjavur the sultan sent vyankoji also known as ekoji to capture thanjavur vyankoji captured thanjavur and established the maratha rule in the region the marathas ruled over thanjavur from 1676 to 1856 ad vyankoji also known as ekoji the first was the son of shahji bhosle and tukabai he was also the younger half brother of shivaji In order to plunder its wealth and spread the Hindu religion, Shivaji led an expedition against the Karnataka region. He captured Golconda and Senji and marched towards Thanjavur and demanded his share from Vyankoji, which ended in failure. Hence Shivaji captured Kolarun, appointed Chantaji as the viceroy and returned back. After Shivaji's return, Vyankoji recaptured all the territories and ruled Thanjavur. Shahji the second was the son of Vyankoji and the second Maratha ruler of Thanjavur. He was a brilliant and able ruler and a great patron of scholars. He annexed Madurai and expanded the empire. He opened hospitals and invited physicians from Hyderabad and Arabia. However he was intolerant towards the Christian community Shahji was succeeded by his brother Sarfuji the 1st Sarfuji was succeeded by their younger brother Tukoji Tukoji was the fourth Maratha ruler of Thanjavur who ascended the throne of Thanjavur in 1763 AD He fought against Chanda Saheb on the side of the Hindu rajas of South India He was a good linguist and introduced Hindustani music in Thanjavur. Tukoji had no legitimate son and after his death a war of succession arose. In this war Pratap Singh ascended the throne of Thanjavur with the help of the Nawab of Arcot and maintained unity and stability in Arcot. Tuljaji was the eldest son of Pratap Singh and ascended the throne of Thanjavur. in 1763 AD During his rule boundary disputes arose between Ramnad and Thanjavur Ramnad sought the help of the Nawab of Arcot who invaded Thanjavur and brought it under the control of the Nawab of Karnatak in 1773 When the East India Company was notified of this they directed the governor of Madras to restore Tuljaji as the ruler of thanjavur tuljaji was crowned the ruler of thanjavur he became a nominee of the east india company and kept an english army to maintain peace in thanjavur tuljaji's adopted son serfoji the second became the ruler of thanjavur in 1787 ad while amar singh his half brother was appointed as his regent Amar Singh made a claim to the throne as Sarfoji the second was an adopted son which was unlawful however the english favored amar singh and he was made the ruler amar singh ruled in an arbitrary manner and was removed from office by governor general lord convolis and sarfoji the second was made the king
During this phase, Sarfoji II was reduced to merely a pensioner. The British controlled the affairs of Tanjavur and both Amar Singh and Sarfoji II received pension from them. Shivaji II was the son of Sarfoji II who ruled Tanjavur till 1855 AD. He was the last Maratha ruler of Tanjavur. He had no son and according to the doctrine of lapse of Lord Delhousey, the tributary state without a male successor would lapse and be handed over to the British. In 1856, Tanjavur was annexed to the British Empire and the Maratha rule in Tanjavur came to an end. The Marathas ruled Tanjavur from 1676 AD to 1856 AD. Tanjavur was the fertile land of South India and agriculture was its main occupation. Purohits occupied high positions in the administration and they patronized great scholars. Ram Bhadra Dikshit and Bhaskara Dikshit were great Sanskrit poets of these times. Aluri Kuppanna, who was called as Andhra Kalidasa, was a great Telugu poet who was patronized by Tuljaji. Tuljaji had a keen interest in painting, music, philosophy, astronomy, and dancing. Tanjai Saraswati Mahal was established by Sarfoji II which serves as a centre of higher research and learning. It is also one of the biggest libraries in South India, consisting of books in English, German, French, Marathi, Greek, Sanskrit and also palm-leaf manuscripts. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on the Maratha rulers of Tanjavur.